Hello, my name is Pontus Johansson, also known as Slask, and I'm here as the business representative of Bumblebutt Studios. Bumblebutt Studios is the team name of four people, myself included, who joined together at Gamedream Plus in Skövde, Sweden, to create a product together. I believe I speak for the four of us when I say that we joined the Game Jam because we enjoy the process of making games. We put our focus on having the controls be as simple as possible while still keeping a lot of nuances into how the game may be played. We opted for using only the pointer and mouse click, which made for a challenge during the prototype development, but we believe that the product benefited from this. Instead of having a deep story as the focus of the game as a means to keep the consumer playing for long stretches of time, we opted for making the story light and easily consumable during shorter sessions. This allows for consumers that don't have much time to play games to be able to enjoy playing without having to invest a great amount of time. Of course, it's also enjoyable in long sessions as well. While keeping the story straightforward, it's easy to expand from multiple levels and would also lend itself for a potential sequel. The art style lends itself very well for merchandise, mainly plushies of the current and future characters. Bumble Free is a puzzle platformer in which you are a bumblebee that is stuck inside a house, and the goal is to find a way outside. This means navigating through obstacles and dangers such as candles, needles and pesky wasps. The main mode of navigation is through short flight bursts, which drains stamina. The stamina can be refilled by either resting on the ground or by eating some pollen while in the air. The prototype of Bumble Free mainly focuses on the navigation of the character, but the idea is to expand it by including multiple levels, which introduces puzzle elements, and by introducing multiple playable characters that can be switched between to help the bumblebee escape, such as a mosquito, a housefly, and a bee. The game also lends itself for ports to Android and iOS devices. Since this is a prototype, we would have to put in a month's work to get a beta which includes several levels and characters, while also refining some assets. After the beta is finalized, we would put it out as a demo and collect feedback before stepping into making the final version, which would take 3 months to make, resulting in a finished product in 4 months time. The main source of income for Bumble Free would be from Steam purchases. There would also be a Steam release of the soundtrack. If the game was to be ported to mobile, an additional revenue stream would be from ad revenue.